was awarded since then best theme park attraction under three million dollars US. Uh, it was top attraction by USA Today, and it was the top 15 most anticipated coasters to open by Coaster 101. And I don't know if Coaster 101's here, but thank you for that shout out. Uh, Extreme Engineering designed and built the second roller coaster in the entire world uh, to go through a Ferris wheel. We were the very first in North America at Mega Park, and I'm sure you guys seen that coaster through that Ferris wheel in Canada. That was our project that we completed, and gosh, it is done. Thank God, it was a, it was a big project for us, and it's operating very, very well. So we appreciate uh, the press doing that, and also the operating. So, also one of the big things that just happened uh, last year, Extreme Engineering was inducted into the roller coaster database. The cloud coaster is now classified as a roller coaster suspended. Uh, that was a huge uh, milestone for us. And since that happened, um, we've been taking off with about four projects across the globe. And to explain those projects is my colleague Matt. He's going to tell you a little bit about what's coming in 2020 first quarter. Uh, a lot of it we can't tell you the park names, but we can certainly go into the locations, the size, or the indoor, or the outdoors, so and we can talk about those things. Thanks, Phil, and again, thank you all for coming again this year. We really, really do appreciate it. Um, we're thrilled to announce our next exciting roller coasters for 2020. Through the design of each project, our engineering team had the opportunity to improve features on both the track and the ride vehicle, enhancing both, um, excuse me, enhancing the speeds, sudden stops, drops, and turns. We also have the opportunity to design the coaster to be higher capacity demands, some other stunning theming options, and introducing interactive solutions such as onboard audio and onboard uh, blast in the first quarter of 2020, we're going to be opening up three new family coasters in North America, Vietnam, and the Middle East. All three locations are world-class parks, and each project will have something new never seen on another cloud coaster. The Dragon Theme Ride vehicle displayed right here is going to be on our Vietnam project. The theming was done tastefully and light and purposely with a minimalistic approach. Our design team created the cloud coaster layout to give those people a sensation of riding a dragon with big swooping turns and a thrilling experience with some sudden drops. Uh, Vietnamese dragons are a simple, uh, symbolic creature. They're used in folklore throughout Vietnam. Our cloud coaster is actually near the water, um, so these elements, uh, these elements tie together, and that dragons are thought to bring rain and prosperity. The coaster project was designed with breakthrough installation technology. This whole installation was done post-install. No cast anchors, no new concrete pours. For construction guys, it was a huge, huge one. Um, this was actually the first outdoor roller coaster that we've done. So this is all freestanding and outdoors. And it's a linear track length of about 400 feet. Um, in the Middle East, we will be installing the largest indoor coaster to date located a luxury living experience that mixes amusement, living, and mixed-use retail in one giant space. Um, the coaster will be suspended from the ceiling's park, to the park ceiling, soaring over 80 feet as it goes all the way down the main corridors. Um, the coaster, excuse me, this will launch guests through some swooping turns and sensations of close calls as it looks like we are driving into parts of the building with quick drops and bonus of acceleration. Our last project that we're going to be rolling out in first quarter of 2020 is here in North America. It incorporates a very famous photojournalism brand combined with outdoor adventure. The brand allowed our team to create a very interactive track along of a platoon as well as a one-of-a-kind seat that makes riders feel as if they're floating through the canopy of trees. The look and feel of this trip of this cloud coaster Trans these guests, transforms these guests into real seniors. We are very excited for all these projects and they will all be opening up in the first quarter of 2020. Um, expect to hear more about these unveilings um, as they're open to the public. Uh, we are under non-disclosure at this point and we can talk a little bit more about the sites as Philip said. Uh, lastly, we are very excited to announce 12 new adventure rides that have either been developed, engineered, and are currently 
operated in 2019. We have an indoor automated zipline attraction, traversing walls that allow guests to climb in and around as well as on top. Um, something called a free run ropes course, a ropes course now done with no harnesses um, and less staff. And soon you'll see a completely immersive adventure park coming, for, coming to the U.S. in 2021 that we're hoping to unveil to you later next year. Uh, ending on a high note, I'd like to pass it back to Philip um, to share some exciting news on what we're doing with our um, engineering design. Thanks, thanks again, Matt. Anyone hear me? I feel like it's uh, not going. Okay, great. So uh, our company grew, guys, by 40% with our engineering design business. So it's been a very big, big, busy year for us. Uh, some of the big projects we were on across the globe was uh, Dollywood, the big tree of life that uh, Wildwood Grove. We built that tree in um, partnership with Life Formations and Weagle, and we just completed that in May. Uh, we also were partnered with uh, Trans Studio, which is about to open in Bali, and we helped do some stunt attractions for their stunt show. Uh, one of the things that I want to go back to on Dollywood is that on that tree structure, if those have been there in person, it's, it's quite massive. It was um, 50 feet tall, 50 feet wide, and it was all done in-house. We had nine thousand leaves that had to be attached, 650 butterflies individually lit up, 400 branches individually clocked. It was the most probably intense engineering project I think we were on to date, but from that we learned a lot of lessons and it made us grow on some other things that we were able to apply to other projects. We also are probably looking forward to Thursday if those are going to Universal for the celebration. Now I wish I could say I built the roller coaster at Hagrid's, but I didn't. But our wonderful partners at Intamin hired us to put all the anchors in, and we had come, we came up with some really cool anchor supports to hold their columns, which are incorporated. So when you guys are looking at the scenic and Hagrid and the coaster, just look down at the concrete and go, oh wow, that's fantastic, it's stream engineering. So that's our part, but that was a very fun project. It was very difficult, actually, as simple and boring as that sounds. It was actually pretty exciting to be a part of that as well. You can see I'm prepared, right? Uh, so I also want to tell you guys about some very, very exciting news. We partnered with a company called the Producers Group. They're probably one of the largest leading um, pr production company for theme parks where they do stunts to special effects. The team at Producers Group came with Extreme Engineering and said, hey, we'd like to provide a turnkey dark ride solution. Today, we are providing them the ride vehicle for their dark rider called the Dark Ride. Tomorrow morning, you'll be able to attend that press conference in their booth. You'll see our suspended coaster. It's going to be a tandem coaster with all the integrated audio visuals built into each ride column, shooting out into the columns, into the sky, into the track. So everything's done turnkey. And that, that's uh, booth number is 87, or excuse me, it's 827. And I'd appreciate you guys go check that as well. You can actually see our coaster fully themed. It's a clown vehicle. And it's pretty cool looking, so I wanted to give that news to you guys. Lastly, I just wanted to tell you guys I appreciate you all and guys being here. Everyone here I think appreciates the press more than you know. You amplify our success and make us feel good when you're here and listening to what we have to share. And when we wake up the next day reading in articles from you guys, it makes us feel really good. So thank you guys. And right now I'm going to stop the mic. I'm going to be here in the QA. We're here to answer any questions. So if anybody has any questions about all the stuff we talked about, feel free to ask us at the time. Do you want to answer that for Megan? The theming, theming on the cloud coaster with the dragons? It's just on the, on the cloud coaster? Correct. We just went on the actual ride vehicle itself. Um, we have the ability to go higher to the next level, but the cleanliness and the sharpness is really what they were focused on. So, minimalistic was definitely the approach. I'll, I'll, I'll do the loaded one. I've already been warned against this. It will take any question. <laughs>